Hey guys, what's up? This is Evan from Stock Music Musician. And in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to use sound effects in Reason the right way so you can speed up your workflow, make your mixes sound better, and also speed up your performance. This video is going to guide you through everything you need to know about sound effects. We're gonna start just comparing insert effects versus sound effects a little bit. Then we'll deep dive into the better way of routing sound effects in Reason. If you enjoy this though, if you want to start using more sound effects, I can save you a lot of hassle because I have a free Reason mixing template that already has this all laid out in it. You can just download that template and then you won't have to worry about this as much. You'll understand what goes on conceptually, but you don't need to wire this yourself. So let's jump in. Let's take a quick listen to the unprocessed audio here first. This is just a jazz guitar loop. Nothing crazy there. So we can close the uh, sequencer and now let's open the track. The first thing I wanna show you is what an insert effect is. And the best way to do this is by also adding, let's say a drum track. And yes, we're just gonna add like a house loop, but we'll hear how this goes, so. So there you have it, two instruments playing. So an insert effect actually does exactly what it sounds like. It is inserted directly onto a channel. So a common insert effect that you would use in the insert position versus the send position, which we'll get to in a second, is like a soft tube amp, a guitar amp simulator. So we want to make this guitar sound a little like more aggressive. <laughs> So that processing is only affecting the guitar, right? We have inserted a guitar amp into the guitar channel, and now it is only affecting the guitar. But if we go over to the mixer, what a send effect does instead, and you look here at the mixer, from the top you've got the inputs, the compressor, the EQ, and then you've got the sends, one through eight. Reason lets you send, set up eight send effects, and basically, on the individual channels, here's the, let's just do guitar and drum. So it's super clear. So if you notice on the far right, we have the effects return section. What you can do with a send is literally send multiple instruments to one effect. This is great for reverbs, for example. If you want it to sound like everything is in the same room, you don't have to add the same reverb 10 times on every single instrument, bother with all the time that takes, bother setting up all the settings, and then if you want to tweak the parameters, you've got to go all over again. You also don't have to do all that processing power that it'll take to do that. No, instead, this is the way they do it in Pro Studios, this is the way everybody does it. They use send effects. So if we want the drums, or the guitar, let's say, to get this plate reverb, and it says the first one is there, we click here to send it, to the plate reverb. So now let's listen. You hear that? Well, let's see, we also want the drums to go. So obviously that sounds terrible, but that's the 1.0 simple way of using send effects in Reason. And we'll talk about this in a little more detail, but if you really want to know the advanced techniques, wait till the end, because this is not how I do it. And this is not how the pros would do it. We've got an even better way of doing it, and I'll show you that. But I want to do, do want to walk through these uh, controls real quick for you. So, because they are relevant to the other, to the advanced technique as well. So basically you use the send, this, enables whether or not it is sent to an effect. And these green knobs here decide how much of the sound is being sent to it. So obviously a very little bit, and then a lot more. 
A thing to keep in mind with this is that if you are using like analog emulating plugins, you need to gain stage your effect sends just like you need to gain stage your inserts. Pro tip there. So clicking the number turns it on and clicking this knob or shifting this knob. <laughs> determines how much goes to it. Now, right now, we've got the fader here. So let's listen. We'll pull the fader down. And we'll turn the drums off. Right now, we don't hear anything. But if we turn on the pre button, you hear just the reverb signal. That is sending the effect to or sending the instrument to the effect pre speaker. This is really helpful, especially if you've got a track that has a lot of fader automation on it and you don't want the volume of the fader to determine how much the how loud the signal of the or the effect send is, which can be really important with fade ins, fade outs, reverbs, distortions, all sorts of things like that. I usually keep pre off unless I need it for something specific. Um, also, pan affects this. So let's say we have it panned all the way to the right, but turn the volume down. Or, well, let's leave the volume on. Now let's pan it the other way. Now let's see what happens if we turn pre on. So with pre on, it also ignores the fader. I mean the um, the pan. So the pan doesn't. Um, you can still get the pan sound, and you want the default pan. Um, moving over here to the effects returns, you'll see that you can click edit to actually directly edit any of these effects. They're just right over here. Um, you can adjust the level of the returns. You can rename them by double clicking. You can mute any individual effect. And you can also just pan one of the effects if you want. So let's listen. This can be helpful if you want to do some spatial tricks. One, you know, reverb on the left, one on the right, something like that. I often don't pan my effects. I, I haven't really found a use for that very often. I'm just more likely to pan the instrument. Um, here we can adjust the levels of the return. Uh, the mutes can be really helpful if you don't want an effect to like kick in until the chorus, let's say. You've got like a really lush reverb on the chorus. You can automate it to be muted in the verse, then turn it off later. Um, so that's the 1.0 version of how you use send effects in Reason. If you've got any questions so far, just leave them down below. Um, now I'm going to show you, though, the 2.0 version of send effects and how to use them in Reason. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to delete all of the sound effects, and I'm going to show you where they actually, how you wire in a send effect. So you have to go to the rack, and right here is the master section. It'll be at the very top left. You hit tab. And you notice that there are effects send one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and effects return one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, left and right. Those are where you patch in the effect sends. So the simplest way of doing it would be you click on the master section and let's just add an effect and let's add the RV7000. Boom. It automatically wired it up to effect send one. And this will be just like it was before. We've got all plates spread. But that's not how I like to do it. Instead, what I like to do is actually create channels for my uh, sends. So to do that, what I would do is go over here, right click, and create mix channel. This now creates an entire channel on the mixer right here. And we can call this plate. By default, there's nothing on plate, and plate is not receiving that sound. 
So now we're going to need to go to the rack and wire it in. So let's hit tab. We'll do effect send one to the input. And we don't control the output. We do not send the output back to effects return. Because this is a mixed channel, and we're going to be using its mixed channel features. So do not send it back. Um, the next thing we're going to do is open up this mixed channel. And now we'll insert the RV7000 up in here. So now let's look at this on the mixer. So we've got these still going to one and one, but we don't have any label here. So let's see what happens if we hit play. So now this is all being, con the volume of this plate is being controlled instead by this fader. And if we want it to pan. And if we try and use these controls, they do nothing because it's not part of the signal path. Now, why is this better? I'm going to tell you three reasons right now, and then I'll show you a few more in a sec. But the first one is that this makes it so much faster and easier to like do things like EQ or compress your reverbs and your delays and your effects. It's already built in. Instead of having to create this clunky, hard to manage chain, you literally just have it all right there. So let's do the old. And maybe we'll add a quick boost over around one. Gentle boost around one. Emote on. Emote off. All right. But where this really comes in handy is once you start having multiple effects. Um, and let me show that to you now. So what we're going to do is we're going to create another uh, another mixed channel. Go here. And this one is going to be a delay. And we're going to route again, input to but we're not going to do the output. The output is just naturally going to the main uh, master section right now. And it says, yes, non-standard routing detected. Don't worry about it. So what I want to do is now send just the guitar to the delay. Sounds pretty good. Now here's where this gets really cool, right? I can now send the delay to another one of my effects. So I can send the delay to the reverb by clicking effects send one on the delay. And putting reverbs on delay is a super helpful tip for getting your delays to sound more natural and less digital and inauthentic. So let's listen. <laughs> cool effect to begin with and this is just the beginning of what you can do once you start using send effects the right way I'm gonna show you a few more things I like to do to make this even better so um, I like to color code all of my effects to be the <laughs> same color but I seem to be colorblind at the moment so I selected both of them now they're the same color so at first glance I can easily see what is going on with my effects I could also, for example, automate the panning of this. And let's just do that because we're here for it. And I want to show you why this is so beneficial. So let's just use a utility like 
Pulsar Dual LFO, take the CV out from it. And if this doesn't make sense, all the CV stuff, I've got a whole video on how to use CV routing in Reason. Just search for it. It'll teach you exactly how to do all this. So now we'll have this right here. We'll slow it down. Controlling the panning of the channel because I've wired it into the pan for the delay. <laughs> a nice piece of ear candy. Then I also like to route all of my send effects to an effect bus. And we could just call this effect. I usually like to add a B at the end so it's clear when you look at it on other views. Um, and you could make this the same color if you wanted or a similar color, part of the co same color family, for example. And so now, let's say you're listening to a song and this can be really helpful. You can just Mute all your effects at once. Um, you can apply global things like, you know, a low pass filter, a high pass filter, a uh, stereo widener, whatever it is, it's just helpful to have all of your effects on one bus. It makes it really nice and easy to work with. This is my preferred way of working with send effects. Like I said, there's a free template you can download that'll have this all wired out. Uh, there is one drawback to using it, and that is that you cannot solo the effect without the underlying sound. So let's listen. There's nothing there to send it sound because it's muted. Even if you've got pre on, it does not send sound to the effects if the underlying effect is muted. <laughs> Now I've got the effects bus muted, but nothing comes through. So that is really the only downside to this. But to me, the upsides are way higher because you get to just be way more creative, more flexible, and have more precise control over your send effects. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to like and subscribe. Like I said, download that cheat sheet or that template so you can make the most out of your reason files. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.